In this lecture, we're going to examine Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity. But before we examine that, let's recall some important background information. Now, at the end of the 19th century, several important questions still remained unanswered. In particular, the result obtained from the Michelson-Morley experiment known as the null result still remained unanswered. That is, we couldn't answer the following important question. Why exactly does the velocity of light remain unchanged as we look at it from different reference frames? So it basically seemed as if Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism did not quite obey the principle of relativity as discussed by Newton and Galileo. However, in 1905, Albert Einstein basically resolved these problems. He resolved the null result using his special theory of relativity. So he basically conducted a series of thought experiments that served as the basis of his special theory of relativity. In one such experiment, he imagined what he would see if he actually wrote a beam of light. So what he said is the following. He said that he would see alternating electric and magnetic fields that would be at rest with respect to time. That is, the electric and magnetic fields would actually increase and decrease in magnitude with respect to the position, with respect to space, but they would remain unchanged with respect to time. And that is shown in the following diagram. So we have alternating electric fields and alternating magnetic fields that are changing in magnitude with respect to space, but they're remaining stationary. This wave is not moving left or right. It is stationary with respect to time. Now he argued that since such electric and magnetic fields do not actually obey Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism, then it is impossible to reduce the speed of light to zero relative to any reference frame. That is, he argued that it was impossible to reduce the relative speed of light at all. And he postulated the following two important points. So these two postulates essentially form the foundation foundation of Einstein's special theory of relativity. So let's begin with postulate one. So postulate one is basically an extension of the principle of relativity as discussed by Newton and Galileo. So postulate one states the following. All laws of physics, and this includes Newton's laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation as well as Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism, hold in all inertial reference frames, in all reference frames that are either stationary or moving with a constant velocity. And once again, this is basically an extension to the principle of relativity. Now, let's move on to postulate number two. Postulate number two states the following. Light can move through empty space and without the presence of any type of medium. In fact, light travels through empty space with a constant velocity uh, c, 3 times 10 to the negative 8 meters per second, that is absolutely independent of the speed of the observer or the source that's creating that light. So basically, the ether that was spoken about in the previous lecture does not actually exist. Our space between the sun and the earth consists of empty space. There is an absence of molecules and light can propagate in the absence of 
molecules and the speed of light is always the same. It's 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second within a vacuum regardless of the speed of the observer or the speed of the source that's creating the light. Now one important note has to be made about the special theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity deals with inertial reference frames. Reference frames that are stationary or which are moving with a constant velocity. In a future lecture we're going to discuss the general theory of relativity which basically is different from this theory and the general theory of relativity deals with non-inertial reference frames, reference frames which are accelerating.